Hey guys, how's it going? Kyle here. I figured for the 999th video, before the epic 1000th video, I'd do something I've been trying to, or wanting to do for a couple hundred videos now, and I'd say a um, personal update with things regarding the channel, some of the things I have going, some of the things I have planned in the future, and try to answer a bunch of the questions I've seen on the comments and on the SobCalo4 Facebook page for a while now. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I want this to be the first order of business. This is probably one of the most important things to me right now. This is the SobKyle04 Facebook fan page that was created, I don't know, sometime mid last year or so. Basically, I use it for all comments and inquiries, updates on future videos that I have coming, so everybody can see the kind of stuff in the, like, in the future and whatnot. Also for messaging, I don't have time to check YouTube messages just with school and this and comments and whatnot. It's, it's just really overwhelming, so I, I can't handle it all personally. So I use this for everybody who really wants to get a question to me or request something or anything like that. I've already got almost, almost 2,000 people who are a part of it. I'd like to increase it and stuff just so everybody is clued in and updated to what, what all is going on with the channel whenever anything changes. So if you'd like, just go to SobKyle04 on Facebook and just hit the like button and you'll be updated with everything new that's happening in the channel now and um, into the future. I also have user submitted photos. A lot of people put pictures of their cars or neat cars that they've seen around the world or wherever they live. So it's pretty cool to peruse or even upload pictures of your own. Now for another one of the big questions is, Kyle, what kind of camera do you have? Why don't you film in HD? All that kind of stuff, yada, yada, yada. It's always the same thing. Um, so here, I figured I'd show it in the mirror. Be better. This is what I use. It's a Canon SD 1400IS. Sorry, you can't really see the back, but it's basically like a two and a half inch screen by one and a half screen on the back, and it's got some buttons over on this side. But um, the camera shoots in 720p HD. I don't I repeat, I do not upload HD size files to YouTube because I upload every single day, sometimes two, three. On the very rare occasions, I've uploaded like nine or ten in one day. That's absolutely impossible to do with HD size files, which can be up to one to two to three gigabytes. Um, with my internet connection at least, that would probably take all day. <laughs> Um, basically my video sizes, um, the big, the big ones, I think, um, the 16 minute regular videos are about 500 some gigabytes and I can usually upload that in about an, about an hour and a half or something like that. This is my old camera that I used to make all my videos with, but now I just primarily use it for exhaust shots and maybe some other things outside of the vehicle. It's been dropped, beaten, it's missing screws, and it's held together by tape. The metal is actually bent here where I dropped it on the concrete at Lamborghini Carolinas. That's not secure in there. It's held together by tape, like I said. But the thing's a tank, it still works. It's probably full of exhaust and soot. <laughs> but that's that's old reliable right there. I also use iMovie. My com camera's completely compatible with iMovie, so. That's always nice, easy to use. And speaking of 1,000th videos, get a little sound clip preview. Well, so that works. Enough of that. That'll come soon enough. All right, I also uploaded a status on the Sob Kyle page today to um, give me some questions you'd like me to answer. I'll try to answer some of the um, big ones that I've seen at least. Um, possibility for tutorial videos, uh, yeah. Um, I do have some older ones. It's hard for me to do them right now, but hopefully this summer I can get to do stuff like that. Another thing people have been asking me a lot is why don't I give the MSRPs for the vehicle? Well, for new vehicles, I can understand that, and I'm, I'm after the 1,000th, I'm going to try to start doing that with every new vehicle that I do. But used cars, I will not do that. Um, first off, I'm not selling these cars, and I know that may not be a good argument, but 
people will argue and it happens every single time a price appears in a video basically people everybody has a different perspective on what things should cost so that all the videos comments is just nothing about oh i can't believe they're asking that much money for that car like yada yada i wouldn't pay a thousand for that car depending on what it is yada yada so i'm the videos are just based for giving you a greater appreciation for the vehicle, as I say in the descriptions. Um, if somebody's really interested in a car, I mean truly interested in buying it, you can go to the dealer's website, website kbb.com. Um, if it's a new car or from the older videos, you can go to the manufacturer's website. I mean, there's lots of avenues instead of just hearing it from me. So that's, that's really why I haven't done it that much yet. Like I said, I've been doing this for about... I don't know, probably about two and a half years or so now. And it's taken me a long time to um, get to the type of popularity and success and stuff that I've gotten. Um, especially my video style. <clears throat> my video style is very unique. I've come up with this. It's my original style. Um, just kind of molded and formed over time. Stuff to what you see today. To make my videos concise. But go over everything in the car. I remember my videos used to be about 10, 12, 15 minutes and a lot of them are still like that but especially when it comes to like Lamborghinis and stuff like that they're not 18, 19 minutes and stuff like that because that's just excessive regardless of what the video is to sit down for 20 minutes and watch a car. Just granted I guess it's different in some cases but um I, tr I try to make it more professional looking. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's pretty nice being able to know that I've created something like this that's original and my own. So I'm, 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 I'm pretty proud to be able to hold that this is all, all my original ideas and everything. Okay, another one of the big questions is how do I do what I do? Well basically I've been doing this for a couple of years now. I, probably about two and a half years now or so, whatnot. And... I started off, the very first dealership that I went to was Brandon Reeves. Longtime subscribers, no Brandon Reeves. I'm still doing videos at Brandon Reeves Auto World. It's in Monroe, North Carolina, and um, I have some stuff from there coming soon. Now that I'm back in school, I'm going to stay in, in Monroe and do some more stuff here. But um, as far as the nicer car dealerships, you just... I, I send out I send out emails. Um, I send out a bunch of videos and stuff like that. I got a bunch of business cards made. I always go up, like I try to dress nice, be presentable, and basically just lay out what I do and stuff. The dealer pan around clip is basically a way that I give them a shout out so I can get access to the vehicles, and also it comes with notoriety and respect too. I mean. I've gotten over 12,000 subscribers, millions of video views and whatnot, and that kind of, that does play in a favor. It's, it, it's exposure, pretty much. Um, advertisement is big this day and time. That's how I, I got my YouTube partnership back in January or late December of 2010, 2009, late December, and, um, it's just kind of blown since. I mean, Google AdSense, that's what that is, is advertising. And they want to put ads on channels that have a lot of traffic. So dealers would like to get videos on channels with a lot of traffic. See what I'm saying? So I don't really charge for videos. Um, a couple dealerships give me a little monetary thing because they put it on their website. Um, like the short takes for all city and whatnot. And I, I put like the little link and stuff. But that's that's only on, on theirs. Like I, I just do a special thing for them. Um... But for the most part, that's that's pretty much it. Um, and really, I mean, it, it's it's all about confidence too. Walk in, carrying yourself in a good professional manner, having respect for the people, um, and it's trust. I obviously have to go several times to build up a trusting working relationship between us. So it's basically like a win-win situation, I guess you could say. I get to look at all this rare material and stuff and pretty much explore my hobby give me a chance to relax and stuff while I'm in school and they pretty much get exposure a couple of personal things about me I'm a 21 year old
full-time college student. I'm a um, doctor. I'm working on my doctor of pharmacy degree, my PharmD degree. So in 2013, I'll graduate with a pharmacist license. I've been in school for four years now. I did two years of undergraduate work at Campbell University, and this is my second year at Wingate University. And um, yeah, so that's basically it. So I do all this, and then I have my school stuff on the side too, and that's what I mentioned about like YouTube messaging and stuff. There's only so much I can handle during a day with trying to balance everything. Also, on another more personal note, I'm actually, um, dating somebody right now. I actually met a girl in my class. She, um, we've been in class together. She's in pharmacy school with me. She sits in front of me. Her name's Crystal, and um, I'll insert two pictures right here of us. Um, we've been dating a couple months now, and uh, it's great. She helps me. She loves going out and making videos with me, and she helps me out sometimes too, which is always nice. So maybe in a video or so, um, that's who's standing in the background or something like that. But she's not here right now. She had to go home for the weekend. But also, um, on the channel, at the top of the channel page, um, I do have playlists. My playlists are organized by every brand of car make that I have on the channel. And everything for those brands are in those playlists. So if you're looking for a specific thing, and I implore people to look at this, um, all these requests and stuff that I'm getting, a lot of them already have, and people just don't know it because they're not familiar with my channel. Um, also, if you go to uploads, next to like when the video is playing, like if you're looking at the computer, the video is playing, the video list is here. Right above it is a little search bar. You can search for the car or anything particular you're looking for up there, and if I have it, it'll just show up there. So before making requests and stuff, just check it. Cause like like I said, I might I probably already have it. <laughs> and a lot of you have noticed recently probably that I've done a lot more unique stuff. Not really, really since the 900th video, I've just exploded with exotics and rare and old and all this kind of stuff that I haven't normally done before. Um, to the people who ask me why do I do expensive stuff is the same exact answer to the people who ask me why do I do junk. One thing, appreciation. If a true car enthusiast, in my eyes, appreciates all automotive history, whether it's new, old, basically see where the auto industry came from, it's nice to see how some things have weathered through the years and stuff like that. I, I enjoy way more doing older stuff then I do new stuff most of the time. Um, the older the better. Stuff, Older stuff just has character. Um, it's just a different automotive time where things were built like tanks. Um, American land yachts like the Cadillacs and the Cle um, Fleetwoods. Um, Caprices back in the day. Um, it's just stuff like that that you don't normally see nowadays. And I like to capture it on film to try to quote unquote preserve them in video. Um, for anybody like me or anybody else who enjoys looking at stuff like that. Another thing I kind of want to mention um, that I've kind of noticed recently, but I mean, it's really not a big deal, but um, some people actually dislike the videos just out of spite, and that's something I've never really understood. I've actually seen comments where people specifically say that I dislike people who beg for thumbs. I don't beg for thumbs up, first of all. Basically, when I when I have the annotation of please thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. It gives me an idea of how well I made the video, how much people like it. And I love reading y'all's comments and stuff and I I read them all the time and I try to respond to however many I can. But and for other people who come to my channel and see the video, if they see a good rating, they're like, oh, well, this must be a pretty good video, and they see it, and yada, yada, yada. It doesn't have anything to do with the YouTube partnership or anything like that. Like I said, I just, it's, it's nice to see people enjoying my videos and stuff, and that's it. And quite frankly, if I didn't do that, half to none of the people would rate hardly. 
I've seen it on tons of videos and stuff. It's just kind of a reminder after you watch the video, just write it. It's it's not that hard. Um, if I if I do good, um, obviously thumbs up. If I do wrong, just tell me how, how I can fix the video. I'm always changing my style and I'm trying to figure out what best works out for everybody so I can make the best, most informative to my means and entertaining videos I can. As far as requests and stuff like that and the types of videos that I make, um, just be aware if you make a request or something like that. I'm always I'm not I'm not always able to get it. I try to find rare, unique stuff that you normally wouldn't find, and I do run of the mill days stuff today, Chevy's, Buick's, Cadillacs, all that kind of stuff. So I try to establish my channel as the driver city YouTube, the most automotive variety that you can find anywhere. I think it gets boring when you do new cars over a while because I mean you can go all over the internet and find videos of new cars but where can you find a video on a 1988 Lamborghini LM002 not too many places especially as in-depth as I try to make the videos um, especially with the 1000th there's only two now I gotta make sure I clarify this there's only two videos on YouTube they're both 12 second camera phone clips my video is about 15 minutes long test drive included and a bunch of history and stuff. I'll have the only video of it on YouTube. Or the internet, as far as I'm concerned. So it, it should be fantastic. I've been working on it all week, and I think you guys are going to really, really like it. And just a couple other random questions here real quick. What's your favorite and the least favorite or worst, like a junk piece of junk car video that I've made a video on? The worst favorite car that I've ever made was that 2009 wildfire thing <laughs> that three-wheeled Chinese thing with the motorcycle motor that was great <laughs> never ever see those anywhere and that video has gotten I want to say over 12,000 views or something like that which is absolutely unbelievable I can't even believe that there's that many views on it so that's that's my favorite Least favorite, I honestly don't even think I can answer that. I love everything. <laughs> I really do love everything. Um, it's hard for me to find something. I mean, there's cars that I like and dislike, but there's none that I hate. Like, I like everything, but I wouldn't want to buy everything, if that makes any sense. Um, so, yeah, I can't really answer that part, but did the best. <laughs> um, the Genesis is doing fine. I've got, like... 14,600 miles on it and I bought it last June that's a lot I do a lot of traveling especially over break I was doing doing videos all over Charlotte and Greensboro and I was driving all over the place so I really put the miles on it lately also wanted to give a shout out to Jack um, he knows who he is it's a uh, I think he's seven years old and he's been watching my videos for quite some time now I'm um, found it through the dealership startups so I promised that I'd give you a shout out and stuff, and I hope you continue to enjoy the videos. I got a lot of good ones coming up in the future. My family doesn't have any plans of buying anything else in the future. Um, Dad just drives something from the dealership every now and then. It's just cheaper than going out and buying a brand new something um, or whatnot. I uh, will be doing a full in-depth tour of my girlfriend's Mustang whenever I get the chance to. Um, let's see. I I can find a handicap van. Um, I was going to do one one time, but if one ever finds up at a dealership or something like that. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. I covered most of the bases and stuff. This video is getting really lengthy. <laughs> so, like I said, I hope everybody watches this video and watches it through and through. I know um, this is my longest update video, but I felt like I had a lot of stuff to say. I know I'm going to forget things, too, so bear with me. I'll try to clear up things and annotations and comments and stuff like that if I forgot to mention something but um all right uh, guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy all the things to come keep an eye out for that thousandth video I was about to say it and um yeah take care see you next time guys